Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. In today's review I've got a really cool figure to give you a look at and that is of course the Mandalorian from the Vintage Collection. Now you may remember recently I shared a video giving you guys a bit of an advanced look at this wave of Vintage Collection figures and in that video I did point out that these figures were scheduled for an April 2020 release date. Now I should stress that that release date applies to the UK. I have seen various reports on social media recently that several US collectors have been able to find these figures hanging on pegs at Walmart. So if you are in the US and you're watching this video, make sure you head out to your local stores and if you find these figures hanging on the pegs, be sure to grab them when you can because they are going to be highly sought after, very, very popular figures and I can't imagine they're going to hang around for very long. So again, if you get the opportunity to buy them, make sure you do. Alternatively, if you are in the UK, as always, you can pre-order these figures at the link in the video description down below. That will take you to staractionfigures.co.uk, where not only the Mandalorian, but his fellow wave mates, Cara Dune, the Remnant Stormtrooper, and the Clone Trooper from Episode 2, are all available for pre-order with, again, a scheduled April 2020 release. So let's jump right into this review, and we'll kick things off by taking a look at the packaging that the Mandalorian comes in. Once again, we do get a stunning vintage card back for this figure. The image that Hasbro have chosen for this one looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see, this figure does depict the Mandalorian in his early armour that we see at the beginning of Season 1. So he hasn't yet upgraded to that full Mandalorian Beskar steel. But hopefully somewhere down the line, we will see an updated figure of the Mandalorian featuring his jetpack, his flashy new armour, and of course his signet on his shoulder. But the image on this card is very nice, so if you're a mint on card collector, this is going to make a great addition to the collection. As you can see, you've got the Mandalorian logo featured at the top, the Kenner logo in the bottom, and the figure sealed in his plastic prison on the front there. But just everything about this card really pops. The colours look vibrant, you know, the figure itself looks fantastic, and this is going to make a great addition to the collection. So on the back, we do get the rest of the figures available in this wave. As I mentioned, you've got the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, the Remnant Stormtrooper, and the Clone Trooper. And then just pictured there are some other figures available in the vintage line, including the Jawa, which again, looks stunning on a vintage card. You've also got the Shadow Trooper, which I can't wait to pick up. And you've also got the Sith Trooper from the Rise of Skywalker and Yavin Ceremony Leia from A New Hope. So Hasbro really are knocking it out of the park. As of late, with the Vintage Collection, they're releasing some fantastic figures, and I really hope that this line continues to put out some fantastic figures. And again, really hope we see an updated Mandalorian in not just the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale, but the 6 inch Black Series as well. And in many ways, this particular figure um, surpasses the Black Series 6 inch Mandalorian in terms of quality and execution, and I will touch base on why that is throughout this review. But there is the packaging, very, very nice card indeed. Really can't stress to you enough how cool this one looks. So let's jump right into the figure. And as always, Hasbro have relay ticked all the boxes with this guy. Um, he is three and three quarter inch in scale, but uh, the detail, the sculpt, articulation, and overall paint applications are absolutely fantastic. Really well done. And uh, again, whether you're loose or a mint on card collector, this is going to make a great addition to the collection. So in terms of articulation, he does of course come super articulated now that the 5 POA line is dead and buried. We have a ball joint at the head, although the helmet is non-removable, I should point that out. We have hinges at the shoulders, at the elbows, at, at the wrists. There's a ball joint at the torso, which is slightly restricted by the bandolier across the chest. We have hinges at the hips so he can ride a dew back if you've got one lying around in the collection. He also has swivels at the upper thigh, hinges at the knees and hinges at the ankles. So really premium articulation. Again what we've come to expect from the vintage line. And you can get this guy in some really cool poses and again he can ride all those creatures that we see him ride in the series. Now, he does of course ride a Dewback, but hopefully somewhere down the line, Hasbro give us a three and three quarter inch scale Blurg. That would be a fantastic addition to the line. Although there have been some really cool third party creations released out there, which look fantastic as well. So if Hasbro don't deliver the goods, that may be something that I have to invest in later on in the future. But yeah, articulation, absolutely top notch. 
not hindered too much by some of the armour and the outfit that we see sculpted on the figure. Again, you can get him in some really, really cool poses. Now, the paint applications are really nicely done as well. The colours really accurately and nicely reflect the costume that we see in the early stages of Season 1 of The Mandalorian. It's got all these pouches and buckles on the belt. Some really nice painted details on the armour. You've got dints, scrapes, scuffs, tons of battle damage going on. Just a real mishmash of different armour pieces, which look really, really nice. Now in terms of accessories, this figure does of course come with two. He comes with his blaster pistol, which can be holstered on the belt. That's a really nice sculpt, again very accurate to the blaster scene in the series. And that fits nice and snug inside his holster. And he does also come with his long blaster rifle. Which is really nicely sculpted, really nicely painted. And unlike the Black Series 6 inch version, isn't prone to paint chipping. Which was one of my real problems with the 6 inch version. Where the paint would just chip off this rifle as soon as he placed it in his hands. And one of the way in which this figure and this accessory is superior to its six inch counterpart is the fact that it actually plugs into the socket on his back. This is something that I've had problems with with my six inch release as the hole on the back of the Mandalorian isn't deep enough for the peg on the blaster but this one doesn't have any problems at all. It fits in there really nice and snug so if you want to store that blaster on his back like we see in the series then you can do so which is absolutely fantastic. he does feature his cape as well which is made of a nice soft rubber plastic and overall this is just a really stunning looking figure can't stress too enough how cool this one looks can't stress enough how much you should pick him up and again if you get the opportunity to find this guy in stores or even pre-order it online make sure you do because this figure does not disappoint and again with the Mandalorian being at the height of its popularity at the moment is definitely a figure that you're going to want to add to the collection. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure and I will be back with some more reviews very soon. As I said I've got other figures from this wave ready to give you a look at including Cara Dune and the Remnant Stormtrooper. We'll also be taking a look at some 6 inch Black Series figures soon and I'm just going to be playing catch up with a lot of reviews that I haven't done recently as there's a lot of figures that have come out over the past few months that I really can't wait to give you guys a look at. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this one. Once again, this is the Mandalorian from the Vintage Collection. A highly recommended figure and a great addition to the collection. So thank you for watching guys and until my next review, as always, keep collecting and may the force be with you.